Okay, Kevin and Pat, totally different from the house from the other day. Peekaboo Mountain Views up and over the houses across the street. This house has a lot of potential. Looks like neighbors unloading here or packing up to leave. Super pretty street. Paseo Iris, palm trees. I know you're familiar with this area. You can see across the street where the neighbor put in a garage door on at least one of the little arched sides there. So it looks nice. He might have another garage door. Maybe he left the other one open. Gorgeous day. I'm not sure what this backs up to golf course wise, but I'll go and show you everything I see. River Rock. Nice big swirl. The laundry is where I thought it was. Um, he's got some junk out here. There's lots of clutter in the house, but with fresh paint and new flooring and uh, probably kitchen, this would be gorgeous. So here is the little laundry workshop area. There's a step up, lots of stuff. <laughs> Washer and dryer, we can ask for those. Who knows about the age? Lots going on in here, but if it was all cleared out, um, it would be a nice usable space. I'll go straight to the backyard since location is everything here. Yikes, okay. That's a little tight there. So neighbors got trees. They've got some junk kind of hidden behind the trees there. Nice, lovely, mature landscaping here. Pavers. Tree, cactus, this is really pretty. It's pretty warm. Let's see, I guess there's a golf for that direction. That might be Dominic's, the restaurant um, and the little country club building, possibly. I think that's what I'm looking at here. So we're behind Dominic. So Abrego is directly behind that building. And then of course I-19 further further in the distance there. Location wise this is super pretty. There are a lot of golf balls. So maybe this is like a driving range area. No balls in the yard here. He's got this gate. Fake flowers, you don't care about that. Hot tub, no clue if that's in working condition or not. I expect that this house might have multiple offers very soon just because the location and the size of the lot. Okay, the inside needs work. Um, seems like maybe he cooked breakfast or something. It kind of smells like food in the kitchen. Let's see. Shut that little gate. Okay. Headed inside, white tile, dark black grout, old light fixtures, kitchen, odd colors here, like a purple on the drawers. These have been painted. They're, they're old, definitely old. Electric stove, countertop microwave. And there's a dishwasher there, just a laminate countertop. I open this here. It's a little pantry space. He's not using it much. And then there's a little um, utility closet here. Carpet would need to go. It's pretty worn and old. Paint, old looking paint on that fireplace. Looks like an insert, a gas insert here. Inspector can check that out. Paint on the walls. There's black on this beam up here. AC's running, it feels good in here temperature wise. This is also painted directly on the wall. That would need work. 
I open this front door. There's the security door and the little entry with the arches. There's the neighbor. Coat closet. No popcorn ceiling out in the living room, but the bedroom still have the popcorn. Hall bathroom, this is tile, old tile, vanity, just a regular flat mirror, old lighting, tub, has a couple little handles, safety handles. This is a skylight up there, natural light. Master bedroom is to the left. Master bedroom faces the backyard. I'm not gonna go out here. He's got a bar in the slider, but this is the view from the master. Super pretty. Uh, he's got a desk shoved in here. Anyway, single vanity there, two mirrors. Very odd paint that I'm sure you would want to redo. Here's the popcorn ceiling. I think the price is fair considering the lot and the location. I also think people will come in above asking just to secure the deal. Um, that's where it looks like the cover is not there. There's a lot going on here, <laughs> but it could be pretty. Okay, light, light. This is a king size, plenty of space, not very much closet space. I've seen this floor plan several times in Green Valley. Typically one person has this master closet and then somebody uses, I mean, they've made the most of it with the racks. Then somebody uses the extra bedroom closet. Here is the extra room. That is a queen, but a king could also fit here if you need it for guests. And, oh, yep. He's got this empty, so I think it's just a single guy here. This one's empty, but there would be space for someone else's clothing. This is me. Hi, guys. Okay, there's one more closet here for linens. Yep. So I know this is below your max of, you know, 300 or 310, but it would require work. So that arch window, super pretty. Kind of odd with the curtains there. But lots of character here, tons of potential. Let's go back out and check out the yard one more time. Beautiful street. This, uh, I was at my parents' house waiting on this appointment and this is three minutes away from my parents' house. That's also a skylight up behind that plastic. Let's see the kitchen window view. Yeah, super pretty. If those tree trims were uh, trimmed back, it'd be even more of a view. I think he comes in there. That's where the lockbox is located and that's where I entered into the house. Old tired fan. Paint looks good here, exterior paint. So that's been redone since he's bought it. A little privacy wall there. Current temp. Neighbors got citrus. The roots are singing away. This would be super pretty for a dinner party out here at night with some white string lights. Let me go check out that neighbor over there. Let's kind of peek over. Okay, so their lot drops down a bit. It's lower. Uh, maybe snowbirds here. Looks like this house has been shut for the season. Blinds are drawn. See what's on the side here. Yep, oh, side yard. People pulling up. That may be more 
people coming to see the house. So I'm gonna go ahead and get going here. And then we can talk this afternoon on the phone after you have a chance to view this. Side gate here. And you're right about it being a flat roof. And our inspector would get up there and check out the elastomeric coating and see if it needs re-rolled or take photos and send us a report on that. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and stop here and see if somebody else is waiting in line behind us. Thanks guys.